Back here at my favorite place, the Birmingham Zoo. And if you like cats, house cats, we have one that looks very much like a house cat with an amazing story behind it. This is Katie. Katie woke up and says, why are you shining a light in my eyeballs? And Scott is here to tell us about Katie. What an amazing backstory this one has, right? Yeah, she definitely has one of my favorite backstories of any animal here in the predator department. Uh, so she was actually part of a research project um, at a facility in conjunction with the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans. Um, and the project was to see if two clones uh, could breed successfully and have offspring. So Katie is, in fact, a clone, uh, and she bred with uh, a male clone. His name was Ditto, and they did have three offspring. Um, so the other part of that story is that uh, she was in New Orleans, and she was displaced by Hurricane Katrina, uh, and the Birmingham Zoo stepped in and took in a number of animals to help them out. So Katie and her three boys came here uh, once... Once everything was settled back in New Orleans, the boys went, but since they conducted the research already, uh, they decided to let us keep Katie, so we're very happy to have her. Katie outran Katrina and is a clone. Do you have all that? Those are the fun facts for this one. So Katie's personality really is that of a house cat. Like, she was cleaning herself over here, now she's sitting over here. She's got a litter box and all of that. What separates her, though, from an actual house cat? Well, she's a, what are we, African wildcat, right? Yeah, so, you know, African wildcats, uh, all domestic cats are actually descendants, direct descendants from African wildcats, so there's definitely that, you know, the, the simil similarities there. Um, she was also hand-raised, being a clone, she was hand-raised by humans, so she imprinted at a really young age, um, and that's also partly why she just acts more like a house cat, because she was kind of raised like a house cat would be. And the clone part is so bizarre. All right, so I remember the last clone story we all covered was Dolly, the sheep. I'm dating myself just a little bit here. So the same concept, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not f quite exactly. familiar on the... the <laughs> exact the, clone. The, yeah, I'm not sure on all the, the science there, but to my understanding, the same process was used there. Uh, for, for Katie and Ditto, the other male. She recognizes you when you when you walk by or you walked in the door. I saw she mm. she she thinks a lot of you, right? She they all these animals do that when you all walk up. They recognize your shirts or your voice or right. Anything like that. Certainly, uh, the animals all know who who feeds them, who takes care of them. <laughs> uh, in the case of Katie, since she imprinted uh, at a very young age, she does really enjoy interacting with keepers. She likes scratches, just like a house cat. She loves you know, rubbing up against your legs, things like that. Yeah, and she uh, loves napping. She's just kind of chilling yeah. out right now. Well, Katie is beautiful. Be sure and come by and see Katie the clone who outran Hurricane Katrina. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.